This and every episode of Wrecked Podcast is brought to you by Beeksy Exchange, an upcoming cryptocurrency exchange built in collaboration with One Market Data. Beeksy is bringing legacy finance speed, power, and sophistication to crypto for the first time. With 225,000 transactions per second per pair, comparable to NASDAQ, 15 order types on day one, with 25 order types on full rollout, and a dedicated customer support team, Beeksy is setting itself apart from the competition. Check out Beeksy today at Beeksy.com and pre-register today at Beeksy.com slash registration to get your free Beeksy exchange tokens. That's Beeksy.com, B-E-A-X-Y dot com. So I grew, I, I started more. Normally I'd just start like five plants. I, I started nine this this round. So I'm going to put some outside. I'm going to give some to my mom and then I'm going to grow some inside too. Give some to your mom? Yeah, yeah. She's, she's a professional gardener. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna. Hello and welcome to Wrecked Podcast. I am Bunchu and I am back. Chamber, how are you holding down the fort for us last week? You did a fantastic job, buddy. I had a backache at the end of the week, but uh, I'm glad to have you back. You know, it was uh, it was good. You know, we had we had uh, some pretty good guests on. I think some really good guests on for back to back. We had uh, Yuki and Goddess, and then we had uh, Non Dual Randy. Uh, I don't know. Did you hear the Non Dual Randy episode? I started listening to it this morning. I didn't finish it yet. We get into but, some pretty uh, heavy stuff uh, towards yeah, the end. It sounds good. It it's, sounds like it, it was good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good chat. I, I, we, I think we, we we found we were kindred uh, spirits. I think. Oh, that's nice. The yeah. Yuki and the Goddess episode was just marvelous. <laughs> it was just. It was like herding cats. I was I was thinking about you the whole time. I'm like, oh, he would do such a better job than me of corralling this fucking mess. No, but like that's that's how they are, and it's perfect. Like that's it. You know, you sometimes you just can't mess with greatness. It sure was great. It sure was great. Um, the lots of movie talk. <laughs> Holy smokes! Yeah, we basically spawned a whole new podcast. I think from it. Yeah, I hear. Uh, so when are we starting? Now? I don't know. <laughs> we got uh, Netflix and show with yuki the goddess chamber and bunch i love it (laughs) anyway that's it what have you been up to nothing i've been gardening and playing outside all weekend it's been just awesome i don't know what we must have similar temperature you were out you were out yesterday too oh my god yesterday what's the fahrenheit temperature i'll tell you what it is in celsius i don't know what it is in fahrenheit the fahrenheit temperature yesterday was about 80 and no humidity and it was perfect yeah we i don't know i think feel like that's about the same festival oh really a pierogi festival yes delicious and then i went to the pool and mm-hmm. then i got super <laughs> fucking sunburned pierogi festival and then pool doesn't sound like a good uh a good mix <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't be my best pool self. (laughs) Uh, Well, you know, so uh, my fiance asked me actually yesterday if I would ever get to a point in my life where I would wear a shirt in the pool. And I responded, no, that's your problem. (laughs) That's your problem. Fun story. I've been looking at pool shirts online. I'm like, hmm. Shut (laughs) up. So we like I don't so, I don't need to be I don't need to be messing around with this. I'm hairy. That's it's so funny. The whole no, bunch. That's your problem. I, I'm whole, there to pool. Baby. I got I got kids. Uh, I don't need to scar. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so no no faster does she say that than I'm like you know that people do that. It's a it's a normal thing. Yeah. And then this dude gets out of the pool wearing socks. Okay. Wow. How fat are your feet? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like literal like gym socks that's gross. not like pool not like water shoes not right. this that the other literal gym socks tube socks <laughs> yeah, what, like what what purpose does that serve uh, and that's disgusting it's like, super gross oh my god yeah anyway. that's that is that is disgusting <laughs> I'll take a selfie of me with my my uh, new swim shirt on there when we hit the beach. Yes. We have some big beach stuff coming up, and uh, you know, uh, I was just I was just perusing the idea again. Don't where do you s- where do you go to the beach up there? We got uh, Great Lakes. 
I, exactly that. So I go to um, uh, a little place called Wasega Beach. That's where my mom lives. It's if you live in my neck of the woods, that's your beach community. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, he, beautiful beaches, nice white sand, great water. Uh, we have like it's like the ocean, uh, but it's not seawater and there's no sharks. Uh, but it mm-hmm. looks like you know what I mean. It's crystal clear water, beach, you know, that goes sand that goes as like you know miles out. Um, so it's it's pretty good. That sounds pretty dope. But I don't need my man boobies uh, bouncing around out there. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> got to keep those things in check. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> Did you know we we're gonna get into some of uh, some stuff on about iTunes later? But we are on our ninety third episode. That's bananas! Holy cow! That is crazy stuff. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So seven more. So by the end of the month, we will probably have hit about a hundred. Yeah, and we will. And we'll hit, hit our, our year, one year anniversary. A hundred per year. That's pretty good rate. Yeah, I would like to count up uh, all of the hours of content because, you know, we're probably, we probably average about an hour. Yeah, you give or take, for sure. So about, a you know, about 100 hours worth of stuff. That's like four days worth of me and you talking. Into, it's our legacy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Someday my kids will find this uh, podcast. I, I agree. Like this, like, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking. I, I I imagine one day in the in you know decades from now, my children sitting down and listening to these, you know, musings, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and and you know picturing what their dad used to be like when he was young and hip and cool. Oh my God! Imagine, wow, that's kind of just put it really meta for me. Like, you know, it's it's funny because my grandfather, who he passed away a couple years ago, he was ninety five, mm-hmm. and he like recorded a record. And he, so we like listened spoken to word. It. No, like uh, like a music okay. album record. And wow. so we listened to it, and we were like, "Oh, this is pretty cool," you know. And it it's like something to remember him by. We're just gonna have fucking hours and hours and hours of our dumb asses. I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> what, though, about how, honest, how broken. Yeah, we are <laughs> honest conversations. Though this is a pretty yes. good. Uh, even though I try to play a char- you know a character, it's it's pretty close to uh, uh, my yeah. essence, if you will. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty close to what we are in real yeah. life. Yeah, I think um, so. You know, Just a little cartoon, <laughs> little little uh, caricatured, I think, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm in real life. I am a McDonald's tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I am a tree trunk full of McDonald's, and I think I come off that way. I like it. <laughs> Um, anyway, all right, let's get into the news. <laughs> Chamber, start us off with some news, baby. So you know where I'm taking this from. This is from Masari.io. Uh, this is... Oh, shit, hold on. Before we even get what? any further. Oh, yeah. Before what we do you got for further. me? Well, I forgot to tell you about Lolly. Lolly Lolly.com. Anyone who's interested in accumulating Bitcoin needs to check out Lolly. L-O-L-L-I. Find them at Lolly.com and on Twitter at TryLolly. It's a free browser extension that lets you earn Bitcoin when you shop online, basically doing earning Bitcoin for everything you're already doing. For every purchase at one of the Lolly merchants, you can get up to 30% Bitcoin back directly to your wallet. I have stacked over $10 worth of stats just doing uh, my normal online shopping with Jet.com. Lolly has partnered with over 500 merchants, including Jet, Overstock, SeatGeek, Priceline, Hilton, and it is safe, completely free to use, and a great way to earn and share Bitcoin with family and friends and even get new people into crypto. Don't miss out on your chance to accumulate more Bitcoin for the next bull run. Stack them stat! Stack (laughs) stat! Check it out. Lolly.com L-O-L-L-I dot com and on Twitter at Try Lolly. Dude, I love Lolly. I've been using it nonstop. I'm so jealous. I can't even use it here. I I just see what people are raking in. Yeah, I know, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty dope. Those VPNs, I think. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, go back to your news story. All now. right, this again. Uh, this is pulled from uh, Masari.io from the Bitrix website. 
Uh, market availability changes for U.S. customers come June 21st of this year. So effective June 21st, certain markets, uh, by markets we mean coins and tokens, will no longer be accessible to U.S. customers. This does not affect the availability of these markets on Bittrex International for non-U.S. customers, i.e. moi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so some, some of these markets, I won't go through all of them. I think there's 30... So there was 32, like 30 I think. 32, yeah. yeah. So some of the bigger ones, uh, MFT, Qtum. Wait, MFT, don't you have a bag of that? I do have a bag, but it's not on Bitrix. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Binance. Um, Storm is included in there. AMP. Uh, you know, nothing too earth-shattering. I guess like, like those ones, MFT, Qtum, Storm would probably be your biggest ones. Um, so... Uh, U.S. customers will be sent an email communications from Bittrex that provides guidance uh, on what they can and cannot do with the affected tokens in connection uh, with this before an affected market is no longer accessible, including buying or selling coins in the market. Um, so I don't know exactly. So after this change, um, I just wanted to go over this part here. U.S. customers will not be able to buy or sell the above listed tokens Um on the change date, our system or their system will automatically cancel all open orders. Um, so I'm assuming it has to do with um, it doesn't give us a, a, a quite the definition of why they're actually doing it. It probably has something to do with um, those tokens and U.S. regulation. I would have to guess. My guess would be that they think that they could be classified as securities so they're not yeah. allowing us customers to mess with them um i think an, another interesting thing here is that they are shutting down access to anybody in the state of new york so yeah, new york um, i've been getting yeah, I've been getting email uh, email after email telling me, because I used to live in New York, that I need to move all of my tokens off of the exchange by today, which is the 9th. Uh, otherwise, I will not have access to them anymore. Oh. So um, anybody out there in New York, uh, chain, make sure you're moving your Bittrex tokens, because um, that's important as well. Interesting. Do you have a news story, too? I do. What do you got? Um, so this is interesting. Uh, stolen. So this also comes from Masari.io via CoinDesk. Um, the stolen Bitfinex Bitcoin is on the move. So uh, this was written yesterday. And uh, stolen Bitcoins have been spotted moving on the blockchain after three years of lying dormant. So um, there was a series of transactions beginning Friday uh, with about 172 Bitcoin, or roughly 1.37 million, moved uh, were, were moved from a wallet that had held funds taken in the 2016 Bitfinex hack. So um, that specific hack cost um, Bitfinex $60 million uh, in losses. Um, the Twitter handle Whale Alert. Um, which kind of gives alerts of huge Bitcoin transactions, right. uh, went a, a series of tweets one after another. Um, 242000 moved, $155,000 moved, $640,000 moved, all from these um, wallets that were linked to the hack. Hmm. Uh, so that's pretty interesting, too. That is interesting. Um, Hard Fork posited that the move was connected with Bitfinex's Leo token, which allows for anonymous return of stolen funds. Um, the Bitfinex spokesperson denied that the in exchange was involved. Uh, They're being quoted here is saying, we are not involved and the movement is not tied to the procedure outlined in the, uh, I have no idea what this is, the UNUS said Leo white paper. So um, they- You've been hearing uh, much about this Leo thing? No, have I've, you? I've been you seeing a lot of shilling happening on uh, on on Twitter about Leo. I have no idea what it is. Do you it's know? their it's Bitrex's Bitfinex Bitrex Bitrex's. Um, no, Bitfinex. Oh, it is a bit. It is Bitfinex. Uh, it's their new IEO or yeah initial exchange offering. Oh, interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. Some. What some, are your thoughts on IEOs? I mean, I'm good. 
uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever? Oh well, hold on. Let me finish this. Yeah. Finish. So I just want to make note that this specific hack that they are talking about was the largest loss of any of Bitcoin by any exchange since the Mt. Gox hack in early oh, really? 2014, which was $350 million worth of Bitcoin. Um, and then in February of this year, law enforcement retrieved 26 or 27.66 Bitcoin that had been taken from Bitfinex. So I guess people are still looking into getting them back as hmm. well, um, which is interesting. I am not sure how many did Binance lose? That was a lot. It was a lot. 7,000 Bitcoin. That sounds about right. Yeah, and I've heard rumblings that uh, it might even be more than that. Oh, really? Yeah, that... Uh, so what were you going to ask rumors. me? You were going to ask me if I participated in something or... Oh, I was going to ask you if you had ever participated in any of the ICOs when the ICO boom was going on. Uh, one. Because I don't know if I know the answer of that. Yeah, I participated in one. Um, Which was it? <laughs> fuck. Uh, it was fudge. It was not Electronium. It was <laughs> a shady ass, shady company. Um, I forget the name of it. Somebody will remind me, I'm sure. But like, it was one of the first ones where the guy got like, where they got where the cold wallet was stolen, and they had to like hard fork before, like the <laughs> like the tokens were even give, you know given out. Um, the guy got like arrested. Like it was a whole thing. I can't think of the name now. It was it was a dark wow. time. I was making a lot of bad decisions. That would have been like February eighteen, something wow. like that. It was so it was bad decision. Not only time. that, because not only that, but Ethereum was still at like a thousand bucks. So at this I time. made out with more. So I, obviously dollars and cents wise. Yeah. Um, I, I forget how I fared out, but I made more Ethereum on it. We we know how you fared out. Yeah, I fared out okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm like a cockroach. I, uh, I I can I can sneak my way out of most things, but no, I ended up making a profit, uh, you know, Ethereum wise on it. Um, oh wow! Because Good as soon as they you. as soon as they released it, I'm like I, so I was well. smelling a dirty fish the whole time. I'm like this thing is a turd waiting to waiting to spoil. <laughs> Uh, so I, yeah, I, I dumped that thing, uh, very hard as soon as I got it. Yeah. My only ICO also tanked and did not, was not successful and was also January of 2018. So uh, yeah. Do you remember the name of yours? Yeah. It was, uh, Ignite Ratings. And Ignite Ratings. Yeah. It was a <sighs> I don't know that one. Decision. Yeah. Terrible decision. But, uh, yeah. So I remember <laughs> the, 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 um, like the symbol, like the, uh, what do you call it? Like the, like your, your, yeah, just like the symbol ticker. was, yeah, the ticker was, uh, bars, B A R S. <laughs> that's I, the one you did? Yeah, that's the one I did. And they had to hard fork to T bars, like titanium. Oh, that's what it was. It was titanium. Titanium, titanium. bars? Yeah. Cool. And then that's a, that's a, yeah. I don't think it had to do it. It was cold. It was like cloud storage stuff. I don't know. It was like, it was just an ICO and it was the first one I could get into. And, I dumped some Ethereum. Yeah, yeah. When he, Ethereum was still like a thousand bucks. Yeah, exactly. It was like eight hundred bucks when I bought it, kind of thing. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, um, do we have one more news story here? Uh, I have no more. Uh, oh no, okay. we have. Uh, well, we were no, we, going to talk. We have about... uh, Beeksy announcement. Yes, yes, yes. Our longtime sponsor and friends from Beeksy Exchange are finally launching the platform. Yeah. So they went uh, live you with can the sign actual... In. Yeah, you can sign in. Have you signed in yet? Yep. I had to change my password. Yeah, they make to you migrate so if to you the haven't... New... Right. If you haven't done it yet, they migrated every all the information over from the old uh, website to the new website. So Beeksy.com is active. You can log in. You can kind of see what they're all about. The platform looks awesome. It is not ready for trading yet. It will be probably later this week. So what they're doing right now is migrating all the information and then... They are going to distribute the tokens, which is actually going to start today, which is Sunday. So they're distributing all investor tokens and everything like that. So uh, that's the next step in the process. Then they're going to enable withdrawals and deposits, and then it will go live for trading. So super exciting, especially on the uh, on the back of 
Binance having more issues mm-hmm. yesterday, um, and then obviously this Bittrex news. So, um, you know, some exchanges are having a, a little bit of a rough time, and Beeksy's swooping in to make an impact. Uh, I literally made thoughts? a transfer on Binance yesterday, like an hour before shit was going shit was going down yeah uh and you, you would message me like what's up with binance i'm like are you freaking kidding me right now binance just- <laughs> god damn it cz <laughs> I know, you're killing me no we were doing the um oh you want to talk about that too i guess uh the so i thought it'd be fun because you are a little bit more reserved when it comes to trading shit coins than i am Yes, uh, that I, I would. I made a tweet about that this morning. Actually, good. Yeah. All right. That's, <laughs> that's what I was, as More long as we're yesterday. telling the same story, um, yes. I felt uh, that I needed you to control uh, some of my bags. So I. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I figure, uh, you know, everybody wants a moon bag. Bunchu is a Bitcoin astronaut, so who better to control some of my bags? So uh, I, I said Just a, a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> no, yeah, Bunchu bags. That's the name yeah, of the uh, on on my Delta app. That's the name of uh, that's the name of it. So oh, no. um, yeah. So what? Uh, All right. We, so explain how this is. Gonna so work. what we decided to do is I took a, a, a you know a little bit of money, and I split it evenly, uh, where we would have like like point zero one five Bitcoin each um, to buy bags with on a bi-weekly basis. So I said, you know, hey, if you were to buy, you know, an altcoin, which one would it be? And you said Ethereum. And I said, well, what I'll do is I'll I'll buy the exact same amount in a different altcoin and we'll we'll kind of have like a little trading competition. Yes. And so I picked XRP uh, <laughs> the standard as yeah the standard um, and they both kind of went down since yesterday but we're gonna check back every two weeks so um, what was my uh, what was my initial price? so your initial buy-in was uh, ETH price at the time was point zero is this, is this a Binance uh, is this, on this Binance? is on Binance yeah this is on Binance so this is a zero point zero three one one five was the price of Ethereum and now it's a little bit less than that. Um, so what was yeah. it again? Say that one more time. Sorry, it was zero point zero three one one five. Okay. So you're you're down three uh, percent. Ouch. But that's okay. I'm down with XRP, the standard, six percent. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we'll be we'll be monitoring via bit uh, via BTC, not necessarily USD. Um, because I started off with like uh, 0.3, I think it was like, yeah, 0.3, or pardon me, not 0.3, 0.3, 0.03 BTC, and now I'm down to 0.027 BTC. So, yeah, we're, we're losing BTC. We'll check back in a couple of weeks. I think I think both of those picks are good. I think in two weeks we'll be in the green. We'll see. Uh, Speaking of, let's talk a little prices here. So we are on Sunday here recording this. Uh, The current price of Bitcoin is $7,710.81, down 1.3% on the 24-hour chart here, and Ethereum down 3.81% at $231.85. The standard down five point seven percent. So literally, the Damn top ten, of of the top ten, you picked one of the biggest I, losers. I could on have the board. picked uh, the only one worse would have been Satoshi's vision. <laughs> That's right, which is minus five point eight two percent. So we have uh, you know XRP at third, Litecoin at holding pretty steady today, just down minus point oh five percent at one hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, that's been doing pretty well yeah it has done well the having that's coming up block award having coming up so um that's interesting i think you could have bought i think i bought some like when at like twenty dollars i think wow really yeah it was dirt cheap i traded it i tried i traded at a profit a while ago but it was it was down that far good for you i can't believe bitcoin cash is still 377 dollars right it's ranked number five finance bnb thirty dollars and 28 cents wild Uh, insane yeah crazy so um 
That's what. That's the top ten. What else we got going on here? Should have bought Tether. I think is the uh, lesson. Here. <laughs> yeah, which is uh, up point three eight. I don't know how that works. At, so yeah, and it's not even at a dollar. It's right. at nine ninety nine point nine cents. So anyway, um, but. That's going to do it for our news. So if you haven't checked out Beeksy yet, it is going live this week. You, you Registration is now back open, so I will show you my ref link. And, <laughs> uh, we can uh, get on to Beeksy. Um, what do we got next, Chamber? I feel like you, you shared a, our, our, most, our, our most recent review on oh, iTunes, yeah, gonna, and I yeah, feel like that needs to be discussed. Okay, so let's let's play a game called Read Our Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, we got a we got a new nice review. That's nice. Oh, we got a new one. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, our we've had thirty seven ratings, which you know isn't a ton. So, if you're listening and like what we're doing, uh, please go rate us because we've got about let's see, I would say ninety percent of these are five star reviews. There's a couple four star reviews, and then <laughs> there's no three stars, no two stars, and there's probably about six or seven of these that are one star reviews. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and the one star reviews are just they're the amazing. best ones. If if we're being yes. honest. So our newest one is uh, was rated five stars from Wrecked in Memphis, which uh, so shout out. Um, light and funny, easy to listen to, and Chamber and Bunchu are hilarious. Thank uh, you, Wrecked in you Memphis. You know what? That is an accurate statement. I, 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 I approve that message. Yes, I approve it as well. Now it, now, now it, gets, it gets weird. <laughs> so, is this the one you sent to me this, the other day? Yes, this is the one I sent to you the other day. My and favorite. I put it in our uh, Telegram chat, this too, because one. I thought it was great. So this review comes in from Huggy Boo 2. Uh, electric two. Boogaloo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. The, uh, <laughs> the title is Yawn, Total Trash. <laughs> Sorry, to the title is Yawn, Total Trash? Total Trash, yeah, that's the title. <laughs> and then the actual review says... Two virgins reading Coin Telegraph word by word in mom's basement. Woo. <laughs> All right. So many layers to this onion. Okay. Oh, my Obviously, God. if he's a listener, we don't take it from to- Coin Telegraph. We take yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We were CCN loyal for multiple episodes until recently switching over to Masari. And I also talk about my children, which, you know, ficto facto. Hey. I didn't adopt them. Congrats on the sex. Hey, man. two times, buddy. Two Way for two. Way to go. He hit me spot on. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. <laughs> I love it, though. So, I, I, I love the fact that I, we, too, we love you. Yes, we appreciate you. And uh, I just I laughed as soon as I saw this. I had to send it. It was amazing. That's fantastic. Um, let's see. Um, we have another five star. Uh which I won't read. It's just just know, fluff. Nice five star review, yeah. Thank and then, you. I pre- we appreciate the fluff. From, this one comes from Jammy One C from Ju- January twenty fifth, two thousand nineteen. Uh, one star, awful. <laughs> that, that's the title, and then it just says awful, simply awful, and then it goes even further <laughs> and says women shouldn't be allowed to speak. God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that uh, is terrible. A lot of layers on that one too. That's uh, oh, that's a tough needs one. A hug. That guy, someone that guy, needs a hug. he definitely. What was the last guy's name? Huggy Bear or something like that? Huggy Boo. Huggy Boo H- too. Yeah, Huggy Boo too <laughs> needs to get involved with this guy. Uh, so now I I can guess exactly when these were. So that that first one was May 21st. So that was a, a recent one. These ne- these couple one stars come back to back to back. That. <laughs> On the same day, so oh, somebody somebody got angry and just decided to, uh, you know. I wonder what wrecked, episode that was. Uh, well, no, I know what I know exactly what happened. This was the this was the Cynthia Romano battle. Oh, I shouted out Romano last episode. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I so that's what this. That's definitely what this is. So uh, the uh, the the same day we got another one star review. Uh, 
from Canned95. And just uh, the title says, Can't find one I enjoy. And then the review just says, Pretty cringy, in my opinion. <laughs> wow. Pretty cringy. Uh, That's yeah. tough, I guess. Yeah. So I hurt my feelings. I mean, I'm going to so, have to eat a tub of ice cream after this one, I think. <laughs> We're pretty cringy, dude. I uh, then let's I like see. the Coin Telegraph thing. That really upset me. I'm like Coin Telegraph. God damn it! You know I don't go to Coin Telegraph. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any good ones from Canada? So let me just see here. I'm gonna pull them up. I think there was a couple. I think honestly, you know, uh, I think Jimmy Kimmel did something about Canadians giving bad feedback or oh no, it was trash talking. Uh, they were talking. They were interviewing people in Toronto. Uh, for the NBA Finals, and oh. get, trying to get them to trash talk the Golden State Warriors. It's, it's pretty <laughs> great. Uh, per, turns out we don't do any trash talking. Um, I feel like I'm not representative of the Canadian peoples um, because I, I, <laughs> I talk really a lot of trash. Know what that means? <laughs> like I, I, I yeah, I'm like, I, I, I like talking trash to people. I like putting people down. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not that <laughs> you're, nice. I feel you're a real nice guy. Yeah, I'm kind of a piece of shit sometimes. <laughs> All right, here's the five-star review I got here. Uh, great Bitcoin and crypto podcast. This is a five-star. Um, what show is, are they reviewing? It doesn't say show, just a general. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh. know. This is uh, from the Joe Rogan Cause, experience. Because that's definitely not us. Yeah, that's a review <laughs> of the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> uh, it says, this is by far the best cryptocurrency podcast. It's informative and fun. The hosts have great chemistry. Ooh. Oh yeah. Um, yes. This is Oh another- my god, I need to talk to you about this. Have you watched the new speaking of chemistry? Have you watched the new Black Mirror? The new new one? No. Oh my god. Please watch episode 1 and then see my tweet from last week. Was it good? <laughs> is that the one uh, with Miley Cyrus? No, not that one. Uh it's super fucking weird. They're all pretty weird. No, <laughs> like no, this is weird no, for Black no, Mirror. No, this one goes even. You know, like than season one, seen. episode one, they get the Prime Minister of England to bang a pig, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, this one is, I think, worse. Really, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> In the sense that it's like, it's not worse than banging a pig, but it's, uh, it's just weird. Interesting. <laughs> if anyone's right. seen it, they know who's, what I'm who, talking uh, about. Who, who do we have for an actor in that one? They've been getting pretty good. Uh, pretty good people. Uh, I'm not lately. sure. I'm, Nobody I'm of importance. Yeah, I'm bad at that. But I'm sending you a uh, in the Telegram. I'm sending you a screenshot right now of a screen grab that I picked from the episode that will give you all you need to know. <laughs> so um, uh, just to confirm, yeah, uh, we have five reviews in uh, on the Canadian iTunes, uh, all five star. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Canada, I told you. we love you. <laughs> We're nice people, God. except for me. <laughs> except for you. Um, so yeah, that's our reviews, and uh, please go give us some five stars to balance out our terrible um, virginity. Yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I've never. Uh, what's it like? I mean, it's overrated. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's confusing and slippery, and you know, you cry <laughs> at the end. It's weird. It's basically like swimming uh, for your first time. Uh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, le- leave us some reviews. We'll read them. We, sh- we should start reading more reviews because I think it's fun. I think um, it is funny, especially the bad ones. Uh, but you yeah, can give us a you, bad but, like, review, but a five a star. One, uh, yeah, right. Leave us a shitty review, but give us five stars. And then, uh, yeah, we'll read the funniest ones. I think we should also, I think we were talking about this. We should also do a mailbag episode. I don't know what these people um, want us to talk about. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, we'll talk about whatever you want, but I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys want us to talk about. Well, you know, I, I have a feeling our listeners would send us more like personal questions rather than anything yeah i'm into uh, it <laughs> so like instead of what are your thoughts on the latest ieo they're gonna be like chamber um what's the right amount of weed to put in water <laughs> you know uh, yeah no i think uh i think they would be pretty fun so yes i'm definitely into that let's do that we'll tweet it out today and start getting uh some stuff and then uh we i don't know how we've gotten this far without it but you said that you're kind of an asshole, right? Oh, I mean, and, I think that goes without saying. Yes. 
I so am let's, kind of an let's talk about your tweet from Friday. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this one's this one. This is just you know. So tell tell this tell the whole story. How did this happen? So I saw this and I couldn't fucking believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I was I work um, and I had to reach out to a coworker about you know a problem. And I, I tried calling her, and you know basically got the one two ring, and then it went right to voicemail. So I'm like, oh, she like ignored my call. So I just text her. I'm like, hey, you know, can you give me a shout right away kind of thing, right? Um, yep. You know, I need to talk to you. And, and she, she had texted back, uh, I'm actually off this week as my dad had a heart attack. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, yeah, no problem. I um, hope he's feeling better. And then, she t- and then she types back. She's like, uh, no, he passed away. And I'm like, oh, that's shitty. And I look back. And her original text was not just, I'm actually off this week. My dad just had a heart attack. It's, I'm actually off this week. My dad just had a heart attack and passed away. Can I call you next week, please? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, it was, yeah, it was definitely cringy. That was cringy. Um, so what's the moral of the story? Read the entire text. What happened was I wasn't being an asshole. Uh, I was just, you know... I, my Canadian ways felt so rude for, you know, tr- texting her and calling her while she was off that I hurried to respond back once I read that her father had a heart attack. So, right. you know, I was just excited to apologize, essentially, uh, in Instead my Canadian way. her whole life. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really, really did a number on that one. That was... <laughs> that one. So I screen grabbed that and sent it to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, they couldn't believe it was real. I'm like, is this real? I'm like, this is chamber. Well, the worst <laughs> part is my coworker knows I smoke a ton of weed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I know she's not that upset. She probably had a good chuckle. Sometimes a laugh is good to have when you're in mourning. Uh, so, uh, oh. you know, silver lining, maybe I provided her a chuckle. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. But it, I, I was pretty... I, I thought it was pretty funny how many people had opinions about it. Um, what was like the most of the feedback? Was it just like yeah, um, like cringy? Like right. uh, yeah, I think most people are just like, is this like didn't believe it was real? Um, didn't believe my yeah, name. You can't, you can't make that up. Didn't believe my name was real too because I screen grabbed my name too. And right, they're like, yeah, yeah they, you know, people thought I actually put a new name in there. Um, so I thought that was pretty pretty funny. <laughs> well, your I mean, your name is. Very ironic for crypto. Very ironic. So yeah, so people thought that was like I something I added in Bitcoin in the eighties, but <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just assholes in the eighties. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it was pretty yeah. bad. So um, I'll obviously be in touch with her this week, and uh, I'll, I'll send her like an edible arrangement or something. Of, uh, just edibles, I think. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That's it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll I'll follow up and let you know if she laughed or if she was upset or uh, or what. I can't imagine she laughed, but I mean, <laughs> we spend a lot of time. I know I know her pretty well, uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it we'll see how it fared out. I think I'm hopeful. Oh my god, unbelievable! <laughs> Just utterly unbelievable. Um, all right, let's wrap this thing up with our last thing we're going to touch on here, which is we are excited to announce that we have not been named <laughs> in the top 20 <laughs> podcasts in cryptocurrency. <laughs> um, surprise, surprise, a shock. To so I'm going to be honest with you on this list. I'm going to be honest with you. You, you, you sent me this ma- You sent me this in telegram and my heart skipped a beat and I got excited. I'm like, did we get fucking in the, <laughs> In this, you know, medium article about the best blockchain and crypto podcast of 2019, of and I'm not. going through it <laughs> and getting more and more <laughs> anxious, and and slowly realizing that we are not on included in this list, 
You're I, like, oh my god, we're at 19. We must be here now. Yeah, I mean, okay. oh, one, the next one's gonna be us. <laughs> That's so me. The next mean. one's gonna be us. Nope. Uh, every time. So I mean, you got your usual suspects. You got you know, Pomp's podcast. You got Peter's podcast. You know what Bitcoin did off the chain. Um, they have unchained. Have you listened to? Uh, have you listened to what grinds my gears, which is on this? No, and I like the name of it. I like the fact. Oh, uh, it's a. Gr- it's actually a great show. It's like one of the best. All right, maybe I'll give that one a listen. Um, but so other... it's not so like it's totally different than all the other podcasts in the sense that it's not. Um, oh, it's oh, it's it Melton not... Demures. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. and it's not. Meltem and Jill Carlson, and it's not um, interview style. So it's all them just crushing a topic every time. I love it. They are the smartest people ever. Oh, they're smart. Yeah. Well, that doesn't. I don't. Oh, like they're that. so smart. It's oh, crazy. I don't like that. I'm <laughs> like a, so I like smart. dumb podcasts. Thank you very much. Um, uh, all the dumb ones like us didn't make it. So. No, a hundred percent. So then I started looking. I'm like, okay, well, which ones weren't there? Um, so the ones that weren't there. Um, you know, honorable mentions. Maybe we'll start our own medium article. I added this this author too, by the way. I said, "Hey, wise up, <laughs> did, buddy." Did they ever did they ever respond? To you? Nothing. Riley Silbert <laughs> at Riley Silbert. <laughs> We're talking to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I realized you know podcasts like you know Bad Crypto is not on here. Crypto Street Pod's not on here. Um, Really good Coin ones Boys. like Ledger Cast is not on here. Um, yep, Coin Boys ain't on there either. Um, you know, uh, uh, there's a bunch that weren't on there, and like there's some on there that I just. I, I'll tell there. you what, I got really upset that Masari's Unqualified Opinions podcast is on here too. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our friends at Masari. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, how's theirs on here? Uh, um, so well, yeah, well. so whatever. Uh, maybe next year. Maybe we'll be in the 2020 edition. But probably not. I'm coming at yeah. I'm coming at you, Riley Silbert. <laughs> I think we need to step our game up a little bit if we want to. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, we have so much tomfoolery. It's like you know. We do. I don't know. I, I like it. That's fine. <laughs> I think the people like it. We'll we'll get wow. out there. We just need a bull run, and then we'll get out there. I think you know what I mean. I think. I think our, our voices will be distributed amongst many people uh, once the hey, next bull run man. comes. I think we're doing. I think we're doing okay. I think we're we've doing all right. Almost a hundred episodes and a year under our belt, and uh, we've got some. We've made some good friends along the way. Yeah, and uh, I think we'll be. We, we'll be we you know we, we we got all the growing pains out of the way. I think uh, I think we're we're set up. Show me that smile again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste another minute on your crying. <laughs> <laughs> I love '80s theme songs. And I, I want to say, is that Family Ties? It, it's either Family no, Ties or Growing, growing Pains. Pains. Okay, that was Growing Pains. I get the two that's mixed why up. I did it. Those are the two. Well, that's why I did it. You said Growing Pains. I know, but I was thinking Michael. You know, Michael P. Keaton as well. Um, uh, yeah, because well, he has trouble wait. growing because he's very short. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why is there a character in that show named Boner? Um, very good question. It was the eighties. Uh, anything is possible. <laughs> uh, we were watching uh, Ghostbusters uh, this morning at breakfast, uh, the Ridge, and uh, Fiona looked over to me and said, "How come everybody's smoking?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's the eighties. Uh, wow, everybody that's smokes." Funny. <laughs> that's funny. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. She, first thing she noticed, like ten minutes in, she's like, "How come everybody's smoking?" That's so funny. Yeah, wow. weird, eh? Yeah. Guy's name is... All right, what else do we got? That's about it. I'm um, just really, you know, looking, reviewing this Medium article just got me upset again. And <laughs> these bad reviews, I mean, you know, this is a dark day for me. I got to go back and uh, tend to my gardens and, you know, have some fish tacos for dinner or something. Make me feel Ooh, better. That's That sounds delightful. Yeah, I think I think that'll be good. Yeah. That'll, that'll turn so. it around for me. <sighs> how how you liking the new house, by the way? I love it. Uh, yeah. We have the pool here that I was hanging out by and got super sunburned at yesterday, but um, we're good. So you almost doxed your, you almost doxed yourself yesterday too. You almost got me too. I was uh, one or one or two more vodkas in, and I would have. <laughs> <laughs> there was vodka in that yeti. So, <laughs> um, 
yeah. So anyway, if you, uh, we'll leave you with, uh, don't forget to go sign up for Beeksy. If you haven't yet, it will be launching this week, open for trading. It's going to be exciting. It's all, it's already live, like where you can log in and see the markets, all that kind of stuff. Um, they have about 30 coins listed Ooh, at launch. As we speak, I just got dropped my ref link, uh, uh, coins from Beeksy. I got my Beeksy. Yes, mine are in there as well. So um, start of the show, I, they were not in there. No, no, they are. Oh, really? Yeah, and just, nice. just got it. Cool. Very cool. Anyway, all right, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, until next time. Wait, who do we got? Who do we got next? Anybody? Uh, we got uh, Celsius Network coming up on Thursday. They are uh, a lending platform. You know, I've been using their app now for a couple of weeks. Just to oh, see, yeah, yeah, see what's uh, see what the deal is. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. But we'll have the, I want to say the vice president on, I believe on on Thursday. Awesome. So we got that coming up for you, and then um, we got some good guests coming up for the rest of the month too, right? We sure do. Can't get awesome. into can't get into too much right now. Hush hush. <laughs> got to keep it uh, keep it close to the. That's back. right. All right. Well, then, until next time, don't get wrecked, and that is financial advice.